Hey guys, welcome back to the video of Marvel Contest of Champions. Today we're going to be taking a look at Guillotine 2099, the next character to be, to be coming to the contest uh, in, I think actually tomorrow. Uh, I believe she's coming out either tomorrow or uh, next Thursday, so she'll be coming out very shortly. Uh, but of course, thanks to the content creator program, I was granted early access to the character. So we're going to have a little bit of gameplay for you. There's a few things I want to talk over. Uh, however, I think this video is going to be a little bit shorter, uh, just a little bit shorter than normal. Um, the reason being the time that uh, I had access to the character, I had access to her for about five days. Um, out, of, out, of the, out of those five days, I really only got to use her for like an afternoon. Two of the days that I got her, I was at work. Two days I had classes, then I had like one day, was like I just had like an afternoon to, to use her because that one day that I could use her I had to do everything else so I had a bunch of other things to do so I only really got a half hour uh, to, not half, half an hour a half of like an afternoon uh, to play with the character so I don't have as many points to go over uh, on this character but there are a few things I do definitely want to go over so without further ado let's dive into this now the first thing I want to talk about are uh, her pre-fight abilities now when it comes to pre-fight abilities, I am not an expert by any means, I don't claim to be, so take what I'm about to say with a little bit of a grain of salt, cause uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm not an expert, I wanna make that perfectly clear, I might be saying some, one thing and it might be completely incorrect, so again, this is just my opinions, take it with a grain of salt. Now, when I first read over uh, Guillotine 29, 2099, her abilities, her pre-fight abilities, at first, I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, now, if you, you don't know this, what I like to do when I get these new characters is I don't like to read anything about the character. I just like to go in, load up a fight, get playing with the character just to get some initial reactions, and that's what I did. I didn't read any of her details, any of her um, stats, anything like that. I didn't read any of that. So going in, taking a look at her pre-fight abilities, I kind of looked at them and went like, for at least me personally, these are kind of useless. Um, the reason being, uh, two of her uh, pre-fight abilities require you to have a combo meter of 99 hits or more. Now, if you don't know what the combo meter is, that's that little like number on the left side of your screen uh, that shows how many hits you've got on the enemy, like in a row without being uh, hit yourself. And yeah, they say you have to have uh, 99 hits in your combo meter in order to use it. And I'm, and I'm like. I rarely get to fights where I'm getting that many hits in a row. I'm not that good at the game. Getting a 99 hit combo, I think I may have only done, I can probably count how many times I've done that on my fingers. I'm not that great. So I was like, okay, I was a little disappointed because it's like with this, just reading that without any other context, this is like, she's really being set up as like a long fight character, like a long, long fight character, like Realm of Legends, League of Legends, uh, uncollected boss battles, you know, stuff like that. It's like. Really? That seems nuts. So I'll read specifically uh, the two of her three pre-fight abilities that I'm talking about. Those are going to be her stability function and her assault function. They both basically work the same way. If you have 99 hits or more in your combo meter, either you will, uh, either uh, Guillotine's medium attacks will either do a life steal or a power burn, depending on which one you have active. Uh, stability is the life steal, uh, assault function is the power burn. And yeah, I was like, 99 hits, that's crazy. Um, but then once I did do some reading, I understand, or I understood rather, uh, the main way for people like me, how you can actually uh, use these. And that is because this ability, in a way, is tied into her third special. Now, on Guillotine's third special, what happens is if you finish the fight with the third special, you get the KO with the third special, um, you will start your next fight with 100 uh, hits in your combo meter, which then allows you to use that 99 hit combo or more. Now, I went in, tried to do this, made sure I finished a fight with the special three, went into my very next fight, got to use uh, these abilities, the lifesteal and the power burn, like, for like half a dozen hits, and then I immediately lost the combo. Like I said, I'm not great at this game. You know, so take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, I'm not super great at this game. Uh, but from what I did get to see from these abilities, they do seem super useful. Uh, but this though, definitely you have to be very strategic with these abilities. You can't just use them randomly in a fight and expect them to do well, unless again, you're going for like a Realm of Legends, League of Legends, uh, League of Legends, Labyrinth of Legends fight. Did I say League of Legends earlier? I bet you I did, I bet you I did. Anyway, 
Realm of Legends, Labyrinth of Legends, whatever. Um, yeah, I, I thought they could be used for that. So this is a way for just kind of common players like me uh, to get to use these abilities. So it is definitely interesting. It does, does definitely require a little bit of uh, thinking ahead of time when or when not to use these abilities. But uh, her third uh, pre-fight ability is called the Huntress Function. Um, so it says, as an attacker, Guillotine 2099 has guaranteed critical hits for every 20th hit in her combo meter. If this hit is a special attack, all hits of the special attack are critical. Now, this sounds great on its own. Sounds super awesome. I think that's great. What I'm a little confused on about this is, are these actual critical hits that are hitting? Because, again, now having read her abilities, uh, Guillotine2099 has an interesting mechanic added to her, which I'm very interested, like, I think it's actually a really cool mechanic, and I'm excited to see how this will really get used in-game. Uh, it's the fact that, uh, Guillotine2099 cannot land critical hits. They don't, at least they don't act like a critical hit. So what happens when Guillotine29 would have hit a critical, uh, or her hit would have been critical, instead of doing that extra bit of damage, what it does is it actually applies a degen, uh, debuff on your opponent, which I think is actually really, really cool. And in a way, I almost kind of like that more. Like, I, I'm kind of hoping, like, I, I can't think of any other characters currently that have something like that. If there are, please let me know in the comments below. But that is an ability I actually would kind of like to see more of. I think that's a really, really cool ability. Um, would, at least in my opinion, make Guillotine 2099 very good for certain characters. Um, which I will go over, kind of ties into one of her other abilities as well. Uh, so I guess I can just jump into that immediately. Uh, this, uh, involves her Digicloak ability, which kind of acts as, like, Ghost's Phase, Invisible Woman's Invisibility, Evade, Mist. It's kind of all in that same kind of, uh, mechanic, I guess, area there. And a mechanic that is very fun to play with, but is an absolute pain to fight against. I really, honestly, like, fighting characters with these abilities, I hate. It drives me nuts. I, I'm never looking forward to fighting characters with his abilities like Nightcrawler's Bamf, uh, the Spider-Verse peoples, their evade. Drives me nuts. So, with fighting the characters like that, Guillotine 2099 might actually be a good option for that because, you know, if you're unfortunate that you're not actually landing too many hits on your opponent, if you do manage to land a hit that would have gone critical, instead of being a critical hit, you get that degen, which will last a little bit longer, so you can still do damage to those evading enemies, even if they evade, like, your next two or three attempts at a hit, you're still putting damage on the opponent, even if you only get to hit them that once or twice. So, I think th this might be a very good ability for that use, so I'm super excited, again, to see how this is going to be used uh, in the game. I hope more characters have something like this in the future, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but yeah, just again, back to Digicloak. Um, yeah, fun to play with. Horrible to play against. Also, actually has a cool little kind of a, uh, I, I, kind of like a effect, or I'm not even sure if this was intentional. Might be a glitch. I haven't been able to confirm this with uh, the Kabam developers or not. But there's a really cool thing. I'll try to make sure it's the clip that's going up right now. Uh, when you activate your third special while having Digicloak active, the animation of your third special actually has Guillotine 2099 still looking like she's in her Digicloak. She's still in her Digicloak state, which is like what her cape and, and cowl looks like when she's regular, like she's not phasing or anything like that. She looks like that for the entire animation. Her swords, everything look like that. So it looks really cool. I don't know if that was done on purpose. I tried asking the uh, developers. I didn't get an answer back uh, from that, unfortunately. But yeah, just a really cool, uh, yeah, again, just glitch. I don't know. Um, but well, again, going back to her special three, her special three honestly is awesome. Has that effect where if you end the fight with it, you get the 100 hits in your combo meter. You can then use those pre-fight abilities. It's awesome. But then also just the attack on its own, great animation. And it does, literally my note here is just does a shit ton of damage. Like this thing is devastating like I'm just I'm super excited for it. I think her special attack 3 is just all around just awesome if you can save up for it, save up your, your power meter for it it's awesome not to say that her other special attacks aren't uh, awesome either they're all of her special attacks are really great but her special 3 in particular really stood out to me so yeah I'm just I'm really excited to see uh once this character gets into the hands of more uh I guess basically better players than me like there are some 
don't get me wrong, lots of very good players have gotten a hold of her already. I haven't been able to watch too much gameplay myself because, again, school and work, I've barely been home like the last... I've only really been home one of the last like five days. So, you know, it's it's been busy for me lately. But yeah, once we get like the high, high tier players, maybe those guys that don't necessarily do YouTube or anything like that, um, I'm excited to see what comes with this character. She looks awesome. I was super excited to get my hands on her. Kind of at first, Elsa Bloodstone was gonna be was the character I was most excited for in this month, but it definitely became Guillotine 2099 because Elsa Bloodstone was maybe a little bit of a disappointment. But yeah, Guillotine 2099 looks awesome. Super excited. Oh yeah, that's one thing I forgot to mention. Just her character design in general. She looks absolutely badass. Like I, I was like I was at first the first time I saw her, just the image that was released, I was a little confused. I was like, who is that? She they look awesome, and yeah, just doesn't disappoint her animations are all great she's just a really awesome character and just uh, yeah i'm just excited to see what she will bring uh to the contest i'm hoping she's a character that doesn't get lost in the crowd you know you get some of those characters like i think elsa bloodstone already a lot of people have kind of already forgotten about her at least i know i have at times like, except for when i see her in my roster you know so i'm hoping guillotine 2099 does not become one of those characters but uh yeah, I think with all of that said and done, I think I'm going to end it up here. This actually, I'm looking at my recording now. It went a little bit longer than what I thought it was going to, but uh, you know what? Sometimes I didn't think I was going to, sometimes I don't think I'm going to talk much about things, but then I just get rambling and here we are. And I'm doing it now, so I'm just going to say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like this kind of stuff. We've got lots of it coming out all the time, so feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know what you think about Guillotine 2099 in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. I truly, truly mean that. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, social, while you're down there, social media as well is in the description. Go follow me, Twitter, uh, Discord, Twitch. I'm working on stuff for those things. I got a good things are looking good in the future of Twitter and Twitch and whatnot in particular. So go follow me over there. And um, yeah, I think that's about everything. So once again, thank you all so much for watching. Taking an early look at Guillotine 2099 in Marvel Contest of Champions. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.